I used to walk my dog down here like two, three, or four years ago. <clears throat> I think the gas company had built a temporary road through here, so it was a real nice walk. It's all overgrown now, so I don't come down here much. But I happened to come down here today and took a glance up here. Figured I'd make a video out of it. Come explore an abandoned homeless camp with me. I guess I have permission to come in here now. That it's vacant. Oh, I don't know if I want to know what that was or not. <laughs> um. There looks to be some nice scrap metal in here. Look at that. Oh, there's no water in that. That's amazing. Leaves and no water. Oh, I bet there's a hole in the bottom of it. What do you think? Aha. Uh -huh. I think it's safe to say it's totally abandoned and vacant, so. Nice scrap metal bits. Although, I might have to leave that grill here. That's functional. Someone might want to come back to here in the warm weather. Stainless steel pan. Uh, I suppose I better be careful what I'm doing here, huh? Definitely abandoned. <laughs> Felt like there's a laptop in there for a second. <laughs> front of the stuff. All waterlogged and basically trashed. Well, I suppose what I could do is gather all this metal up and take it to the scrapyard and see what we're dealing with, what do you think? That might be a considerable amount of money here. Nice pieces of aluminum. That was an expensive bottle right there. Contigo stainless steel bottle. I suppose if I touch it, I need to take it out of here, huh? Nice little pots and pans. The scrapyard <clears throat> down the street from here closes at one o'clock. So I have to take this to a a different yard a ways away Let's see how much money we make
who knows what we might find in here. Some of this stuff at first glance looks familiar to me, like it's something I might have donated somewhere or left on a curb. <laughs> I don't think it is though, but that's a nice little cast iron pan. That's actually got some value to it beyond scrap. Let's see. That's a nice little guy. That'll clean up really well. Let's see, get my magnet. Stainless steel, stainless steel, stainless steel, aluminum. Stainless steel mug breakage there. That's aluminum. some valuable scrap metal they were using this insulated copper extension cord as a rope hey they actually had some kind of light bulb set up out there <clears throat> there's extension cords all over this place all these <laughs> everything they were using for rope is extension cords it's pretty wild. I don't know what they're using this for. Looks like some kind of little fire pit where they're burning stuff. That's a nice chunk of steel. I think I know where this came from, actually. This is something I found in one of my creek picking videos, and I was gonna go back and get it. This was in a tunnel underneath the highway I'm pretty sure that's the same piece they were probably living down there dragged it up here get rid of these mosquito breeding grounds make us warm out I live just over across the field over here I hate to take these things they're using for ropes down here, but I mean, it's valuable copper, so I suppose I can take it down. If someone comes back here, put 30 minutes work into putting new ropes and stuff up there. Too lazy to clean up after themselves. 30 minutes work shouldn't hurt them. Make sure I take a look exactly what I'm doing here. I don't know what this light bulb was doing. They must have had a battery hooked up out here or something, I don't know. Or <clears throat> they just found this extension cord with a light bulb in it and just used it as a rope and didn't bother taking the light bulb out. Might have had a generator out here, I suppose.
Some of these pans are really nice. Something's in here. Lots and lots and lots and lots of cans out here. It kind of looks like someone had been smashing the ones that were in this tote. Maybe they were taking them to the scrapyard once upon a time or something. They might have just been saving space, I suppose. I don't know. They clearly stopped smashing them at one point, though. And then it would appear that they just started throwing them all over the place. Take what I can, anyways. Found this little flashlight on the way over here. Propane bottle. Some 
books. Pile of clothes. Once upon a time, perhaps they were cleaning stuff up, maybe. There could have been multiple residents here too, you know. Someone might have been keeping it nice and orderly and the tenants may have changed. And someone came in here and didn't care about anything. Maybe. It almost appears they had an animal with them, maybe a dog or something. These are actually dog dishes. They make nice bowls too for people. They stainless steel though, so. There's three of those. I'm gonna edit a clip from my video into here, into this video. From, from where I found this, and we're gonna find out if this is the same one or not. Well, it sure looks like it. <laughs> the uh, flood ravine that I made that video in is just right, uh, right over here on the other side of these woods. It goes up here, curls around under the highway over here. And that's where I found this. I'm almost certain that's it. I thought it was like part of a water pipe or something. I think someone in the comments said it might be part of a brake drum from a big semi or something. I don't know. Kind of looks like a water, water hole shaft cut in half to me. Could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's it though. <laughs> Let's get a good look at it. See if we can identify it. Appears to have been cut. That's a nice piece of scrap metal. I'll put the link to this video down in the description if you want to check it out. This is when I found that piece. I'm convinced that's it. This was February 4th last year. Six days short of a year ago. That's interesting. Some kind of circle shaped piece of steel in there. I wonder what that is. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's moving. Oh, we're gonna get it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, look at that. Hey, you know what that is? It looks like a. Uh, like a. Some sort of uh, water pipe or a uh, manhole dealy. I don't know. I'm sure somebody out there knows exactly what that is. Heavy steel. Uh, real heavy. Looks like it's been sawed in half for one reason or the other. Tiger, bias, tall. <laughs> and just shut up and go. <laughs> Good dog. I suppose I have quite a bit of room left. I take all those tin cans too. One umbrella.
these cans break down pretty fast. I didn't know they broke down that quick. This hasn't been here for more than three years. Two and a half years maybe tops. I suppose some of this could have been here from before, a long time ago too though, I suppose. Metal of some kind. Looks like it's been in a fire. <clears throat> oh, that's a full can there. Corn. Oh, there's all full cans. Look at that. I didn't find anything too terribly interesting or frightening. That's good. Look at that, look at that hawk. Oh, he saw me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> there was a great big hawk about to come land here. There he is. I don't know if the GoPro can pick it up or not. Hey, he was gonna fly right over here. He saw me point up at him and took off. <clears throat> ever been used or no put cellophane on it to make it longer look at it it's a garden garden hoe I thought it was a, a barbecue utensil at first I was gonna leave it there maybe but it's not it's not what that is Get this loaded up. I actually came off the bungee cord short, and I do recall seeing a bungee cord up here in this tree. So that's a nice long one, too. La di da. We're gonna need it.
scooters don't have reverse. Oh, I gotta play these little hills and inclines. Okay. See what that thing. place closes from one to two for lunch and it appears I showed up right when they opened the gate it's 209 so that worked out really good See what we're dealing with here. Well, I guess we know what we're dealing with. See what it's worth. Boy. I'm gonna get this all separated into buckets to take up to that scale. I might have people watching my videos for the first time on this one that don't know a whole lot about scrap metal. So I'm gonna separate it out show it to you they have a bucket or two laying around <laughs> Yards where I live make you uh, cut these plugs off to get a better price on the wire. With the plugs on, it'd be like uh, 15 cents a pound. And with the plugs off, I think it's like 40 cents or so. Prices go up and down. A nickel or a dime pretty frequently. I'll show you the receipt here in a minute. actually a nice little light bulb right there I'm gonna have that for myself little LED GE LED light interesting little bottle I pulled out of there quarter liter brass wells established 1945 I don't think that's a modern bottle. Here it is. Aluminum tote. Number two insulated wire. Some breakage, that's a stainless breakage and a piece of aluminum breakage. Stainless bucket. Stainless steel in there. For 
those of you that haven't watched before, don't know a lot about scrap metal. The scrap yards I go to, you take a magnet, and if it doesn't stick, then it's stainless steel. It's like, you take a pan like that, a magnet sticks to it, see that? That's just a piece of tin. Tin shred. This is gonna go with short steel. It's gonna be like a penny or two higher than the tin shred. And then a nice tote full of cans here. Cans are down to 35 cents a pound today. And then I got that little cast iron skillet. Uh, that's a nice little pan. Expensive little light bulb and an interesting piece of glass. That's the only piece like that I saw there. I don't know if that place maybe has a history of people camping out there or something. Or that could have just been something they brought in. And a load of garbage or like they might have got something from a thrift store. Big box stuff or something. Who knows for sure. But, uh, I'm gonna take it up to the scale now. Check out their prices. Number one insulated copper is 90 cents. They don't have number two listed. Air conditioner ACRs, brass $1.25. Brass copper radiators, $1.20. Stainless steel is down to 20 cents. Dirty ACR, 60 cents. Aluminum brake is 7 cents. Electric motors, 10 cents. Aluminum cans, 35. Aluminum's 25. Extruded aluminum's 55. That's a big gap. Extruded aluminum is a high grade. Aluminum wheels, 50 cents. Number one copper, $1.90. Number two copper, $1.70. Short steel, seven cents. Tin, five cents. So that would have been all that rubbish stuff I had with the tin cans and the chair and stuff. And then that was that big piece of steel. And then uh, this they used to take this stuff, cardboard, paper, clothes, electronics. Back when prices were way up, Everything was the price, all these prices were uh, close to doubled for the most part. Um, well, exterior aluminum used to be the same as aluminum, it used to be just a nickel different. Now it's 30 cents, so that's kind of weird. But back when prices were way up years and years ago, they bought clothes and paper and cardboard, electronics, and prices dropped and they just eliminated it. Shoot, that might be nine years ago now, 10 years ago or so. There's what I got for everything if you wanna pause the video and take a look at all that different stuff. $10.52, it's not bad for a load of rubbish, you know. Finish this video off with a spin around the tour or uh, spin around the tour <laughs> a spin tour around the yard that's the scale right there all kinds of stuff in here huge aluminum trailer that's just stuff full of aluminum looks like mostly siding some cardboard back there all bundled up probably saving it for a day when it, it's worth something I suppose look at this cure look at this cures light truck all right get out of your way how about this sorry man you got cures light truck Taking that thing apart. There's a car up there. That's why the tin hounds come back here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed our little exploration. And as always, thanks for watching.